Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Yuzitsuki Tutorials, and this is FPS 1.11. In this episode, we're going to learn how to make the camera zoom in just a little bit when we hold down right click or aim the gun. Um, so this can either be a little bit of zoom for like, say, like a pistol or a rifle or shotgun or something like that where we're just aiming down the sights, and we just want the camera to zoom in just a little bit, just to add a little bit of, of an effect and a little bit of assistance in aiming and seeing the uh, sights of the gun. Um, or we can have it be a major zoom, like a sniper rifle, where we're actually going to zoom in through the telescope um, and just make a very extreme camera angle so that it zooms in very far. Um, it's actually pretty simple to do, so why don't we just dive right into it. So here's the uh, scripts that we're going to be working with today. Um, as you can see, we have a lot of variables inside of the mouse look script and only one variable inside of the gun script. Uh, the one variable inside of the gun script is zoom angle, and this is going to be the angle of the camera. Um, and this is just a way of setting um, a variable that's going to be unique for each gun later on. We could easily put this variable inside of the uh, mouse look script, but I'd rather put it inside of the gun script so that later on we have the option um, and the changeability between different guns so that each gun is unique for how much it zooms in. Um, so let's get started. Uh, in the mouse look script, our first variable is the default camera angle. So when we're talking about camera angle, we're talking about, um, okay, so here's the camera. Here's the uh, top or highest most point that you can see on the screen, and here's the lowest most point. The camera uh, angle goes between here and here, and in Unity, that is called the field of view or FOV. Um, I think it's just called field of view inside of the um, Unity scripting reference. Um, but yeah, so you got to remember that the angle goes between the top and the bottom of the screen because the horizontal, the you know, between the sides of the screen, the angle between the side of the screen, the camera, and the other side of the screen is going to change depending on the aspect ratio, whether you're playing in widescreen or standard you know, three by two or whatever the, you know, aspect ratio of your screen is. Um, but the S or, but the uh, angle between the top and the bottom is never going to change. Only the horizontal is going to change with the uh, screen aspect ratio. Okay, so default camera angle. Uh, this is going to be, um, well, basically the default camera angle for when we're zooming um, out or when we are not aiming. Just when our gun is relaxed and just set at our hip, what the camera angle is going to be when we're not zoomed in. Um, okay, and then we have camera target or current target camera angle. So current target camera angle is going to be the camera angle that the camera is going to zoom into when we are actually using a gun. Um, oh, one thing I should probably note is that the smaller the number, the more the camera zooms in. Because if you think about it this way. Alright, so here's the camera and here's its field of view. Um, if it's really wide like this, you're going to be zoomed out and you're going to be seeing a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, so that's a large angle, like say 60 degrees. But if we want to zoom in, we could do something like uh, 10 degrees. Uh, and as you can see, it is a very, you know, it, it's zooming in. There's not as much you can see. So it's zooming in and it's pulling out the image so that you can see more detail in you know a smaller amount of space so it's zooming in it's cropping in on um, what we're seeing so remember larger numbers mean that we can see a lot smaller numbers that it means that we can see a little so smaller means zooming in um, so current target camera angle um, this number is going to be um, changing uh, depending on which gun we have. Right now, we don't have anything set up to switch guns, so this is a little bit irrelevant, but I just want to put it in there just to show um, this number is going to be automatically changed by the gun um, so that each gun gives it a unique number to actually change the camera angle to. Um, so this is what the camera angle is going to change to uh, when we're zoomed in. And then we have... Uh, zoom ratio, I mean ratio zoom, ratio zoom V, and ratio zoom speed. As you guessed, we are going to make a smooth damp function. 
because it's not going to look very good if we just quickly like jump and zoom in. We want to like kind of like zoom in and create a smooth motion for the players so that they don't feel like everything's jaggedy or glitchy and you know just numbers changing automatically to what they should be. Uh, we want a smooth motion, so we want to we want to feel like we're like zooming in and like focusing on it. And smooth damp is the smoothest way that we can do this. So we're gonna use um, uh, let's see, we're going to uh, smooth damp between zero and one. And I'm trying to remember. I think um, zero is the going to be the default camera angle, and one is going to be the current target camera angle. Um, so we're actually going to create a smooth damp function that uh, smooth damps between 0 and 1. Um, so that is ratio zoom. That's going to be that number that's between 0 and 1. Uh, and then ratio zoom v is going to be our velocity variable. This is just for the smooth damp function, um, just so that it can remember the velocity just like in any other smooth damp function. Uh, so we don't need to worry about that. And then we have ratio zoom speed, and this is going to be the approximate number of seconds for the camera to zoom in or zoom out to where the camera wants to be zoomed to. Um, so the smaller the number, the quicker it's going to zoom into something, and the uh, uh, larger the number, the slower it's going to zoom into something. So we can find a perfect balance point between very smooth movement and actual functionality where it zooms in quick enough so that you don't miss your target. Um, and then we just have under the gun script zoom angle. So this is going to be the unique number for each gun that determines the angle of the camera we want the camera to change to uh, when we're aiming with that gun. Um, and right now basically just what we have is the uh, gun script is just going to constantly be setting uh, current target camera angle in the mouse look script to equal zoom angle. Um, so it's uh, a little bit, I mean, there's still some code that needs to be done so that when we are able to switch guns, we'll be able to switch back and forth and switch these numbers around. Uh, but for now, it works and it's just showing the idea of what we're going to be placing in the future in our code so that we can switch guns and so that we will have a unique camera angle for each gun. Alright, so now let's um, zoom down to our gun script because this is a very simple one line of code that we're going to be putting inside of the gun script. Um, this is supposed to be all one line. There we go. Okay, so just anywhere inside of the update loop, we're going to put camera object dot get component mouse look script uh, current target angle equals zoom angle. So we are accessing the camera object, um, which this is the game object variable that we defined earlier in the inspector uh, just so that we can remember the main camera game object and then we're going to be accessing mouse look script because mouse look script is attached to our main camera and then we're pulling out the variable current target camera angle and we're having it equal zoom angle so we're we are changing current target camera angle to zoom angle through the uh, gun script Pretty simple. Um, later on, we can add some code like if gun is equipped, or you know, if we haven't already done this step, so that it doesn't have to run through this line of code every single frame. Uh, but for now, I mean, our our code is pretty simple. We're not having anything too advanced going on in our game, so we don't have to worry too much about our frames per second and you know, wasted processing power. We might as well just create simple code, even if it's a bit redundant. Um, so we're going to add more to this code later uh, to make it work better, but for now it's just a very simple, very rough, um, just quickly changing uh, the uh, current target camera angle to what we need it to be, and just to show the concept of what it will be like as we're switching guns. So now let's actually zoom, or go to um, the code that we're going to be using inside of the mouse look script. Alright, so this is what we're going to have inside of the update loop of the mouse look script. Uh, this is a little bit more confusing. So what we're going to be doing, uh, first of all, we have an if statement and an else statement. Uh, and we have these in place to determine whether or not we're holding down right click or whether or not we are actually, you know, aiming with the gun. Um, and by doing that, we just have if current aim ratio equals 1. 
So remember the uh, current aim ratio is the number that we multiply look sensitivity by. So if we look or if we multiply it by one, then it's the default look sensitivity. Therefore, we're not aiming. Um, so if it's equal one, then we're not aiming. So if we are not holding down right click or the gun is not aiming, that line of code is going to be run. Um, but if uh, current aim ratio does not equal one, or in other words, else, so if this if statement is false, then we will run this line of code. Um, so the line of code that I have highlighted right now is going to be run if we are zoomed in, because we know that if the gun is zoomed in, it's going to give us a uh, current aim ratio that does not equal one, um, so it doesn't matter what it's going to be, but we just know that it's not going to equal one. So we're going to run that line of code. So as you can see, these two lines of code that we have are pretty much the exact same thing. It's just a, oops, it's just a smooth damp function that's going to smooth damp zoom ratio between zero and one. And if we aren't aiming, it's going to smooth damp it to one. And if we are aiming, it's going to smooth damp it to zero. And as you can see, we are, um, it's zoom ratio equals math f dot smooth damp, uh, zoom ratio, the number that we're going to affect, uh, one, the number that we want to, or want to smooth damp to, uh, and then zoom ratio v, this is the velocity variable that smooth damp keeps track of just to make sure that everything moves smoothly, um, and ratio zoom speed, and this is the approximate number of seconds. Uh, that we want it to take for the camera to zoom into the angle uh, that it's targeted to. Um, so yeah, pretty simple. Exact same function, but if we're um, not aiming, it's going to go to 1. So therefore, 1 is going to represent the default camera angle. Um, and if we are aiming, it's going to smooth down to 0. So 0 is going to represent the camera angle that is defined by our gun. Um, so that's pretty simple. And then we have this line of code here to actually apply that. Um, so uh, let's see, we have camera.main.fieldofview. Actually, I think that line of code can be changed to something that makes a little bit more sense. I'm going to change that right now. I don't know why it says that. Camera.fieldofview. I'm pretty sure that's how it's going to go. If not, I will show you in the uh, actual screen recording whether or not I'm right, but I'm pretty sure the code should be camera.fieldofview because we are accessing the camera that is attached to the same game object that our script is attached to. Um, and then we're accessing the variable out of that, which is field of view, which is the angle um, of the vertical angle of how open our camera is. Or, you know, larger the number, the more zoomed out we are, and smaller the number, the more zoomed in we are. Um, and we're just having it equal this mathf.lerp uh, function. So mathf.lerp stands for uh, linear interpolation. I, mean, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, but basically what that means is that um, we are going to give it two numbers. Um, we're going to give it uh, the zero number and then the one number and then a number that's going to represent where in between those numbers we should average out these numbers to. Uh, so let me explain this a little bit better. So uh, let me type in a little bit of type in to show you what I'm talking about. So we have mathf.lerp. Um, so we're going to have number one, uh, whoops, number, not stupid autocorrect. and then number two, and the ratio. Okay, so what this function is going to do is return a number that is between um, number one and number two, um, depending on the ratio that we give it. So if the number that we give it is a zero, it's going to return us number one, and if the uh, ratio number that we give it is one, it's going to return number two. Um, and if the ratio number we give it is 0.5, it's going to give us 
the exact average directly in the middle between these two numbers. So imagine there is a number line. So here's number one, here's number two. So if it is, if we give, if, or if the ratio number that we give it is zero, it's going to be right here. If the ratio number we give it is one, it's going to be right here. And if it's a decimal between zero and one, it's going to pick a spot on this number line in between those two. Um, so basically, it's just a way of finding a number between uh, two numbers in a linear fashion. Um, and since we, since the ratio number that we're going to give it is already smooth damp, it's going to smooth damp that number for us. So we know the ratio that we want to uh, these numbers for it to smoothly damp between. So we just give it the ratio, which we know is going to be a number between 0 and 1. And it's going to give us back the number of where we should be on this number line between the two numbers that we gave it. So let me try to explain this one more time inside of this line of code. So we have mathf.lerp and then we have current target camera angle. So um, as you can see up here we're smooth damping to zero um, if we are aiming because if uh, current aim ratio does not equal one so if we are aiming uh, um, our camera or the ratio zoom is going to move towards zero so that would give us back the current target camera angle, which is the uh, camera angle that we want the uh, camera to change to uh, if we are aiming and if we are zoomed in. This is the number that is defined by each different gun. Um, and then the second number is default camera angle. So if we um, are not aiming, so if our current aim ratio is 1, so if we're not aiming, it's going to smooth damp towards 1. So if it is 1, we're just going to go back towards the default camera angle, which is going to be the camera angle when we are not zoomed in or when we are not aiming. And then we just have ratio zoom, and this is the number that we are smooth damping between 0 and 1 in those two functions. Um, so sorry, that was a really, really rough explanation of what mathf.lerp does, um, but hopefully you guys at least have a semi-understanding of what it means now, or at least when you mess around with it in code, maybe you'll understand even more. Um, but yeah, basically that is all the code that we need to make the camera zoom in like that. So I'm going to cut the green screen and go straight to screen recording and show you how to do that in Unity. Alright, so here we are inside of Unity. And the first thing, let's modify the uh, mouse look script. So the first thing we need to do is add our variables. So what was the first one? Oops, hit the cat locks button. Okay, so var it default angle float and I'm gonna make this uh, 60 because by default the uh, camera angle actually is 60 if you don't change anything um, and 60 has looked good to me so far so I'm gonna keep it at 60 um, if you want a game with a little wider of a camera go ahead and change it to something larger if you want the more zoomed in of a camera you know whatever looks good for you uh, and I'm gonna scroll down and cheat cuz I have okay so default camera angle all right now I need the yep uh, current target camera angle and by default I'm gonna set that to 60 um, just so that if you know anything goes wrong it's just gonna not do anything rather than giving us a crash um, and now I need a ratio zoom float And what did we say? I think it was 1 uh, equals the default camera angle and 0 is going to be current target camera angle. So I'm going to have it by default equal 1. So that it starts zoomed out. Now I need my var ratio zoom v float. And we don't need to assign a value to that because that's the velocity variable. Zoom speed 
And I'm going to give this a default value of 0.2. I'm just guessing what will look good. All right, so we have all of the variables inside of our mouse look script. Let me just double check, make sure I got that right. Yep, those are all the variables that we're going to be using. All right, now let's go down and actually start doing our code. <clears throat> so we have if, um, so we're going to check whether or not um, we are holding down right click. So that's current aim ratio equals one. So we know that if it equals one, it uh, our right click is not being held down. Because if it equals one, where is it? One times any number is itself, so that will be the default look sensitivity if it is one. Therefore, we know that we are not holding down right click. Um, or we could actually do input, get right click, um, or something like that. But I'm just going to go ahead and go off of the current aim ratio and just see whether or not we're, uh, whether it's equaling one so that we're really getting the information from the guns because later on in the game you never know if uh, the you know behaviors of the gun is going to be different um, and let me write my else and what we want here is we want to ratio zoom we're going to affect this variable and we're going to smooth damp that And the number it is at right now is ratio zoom. And the number that we want to get to, so if we are not holding down right click, um, we want it to go to the default camera angle. And we said that one is going to be the default camera angle. So we're going to have it smooth damp towards one. And now we need our velocity variable. And then we need our speed variable that tells us about how much time it's going to take um, for it to go from here to here basically and now let's copy and paste that whole thing because the only thing that we need to change is that we want it to smooth damp to zero instead of one so now if this is working properly our uh, ratio zoom variable should smooth damp between 0 and 1 depending on whether or not we're holding down right click. So now we need to change the camera angle of the main camera. So we're going to do uh, camera. Let me double check make sure that's how I did it down here. Did I, I, no, I did it differently. Let me, let me double check. I'm pretty sure camera is going to work simpler. Dot field of view. So when we do camera like this down here this is the class and then dot main is going to be the main camera um, and then field of view but later on we actually are going to have more than one camera so I am going to I, I think it would be better to just access the camera that is attached to the game object that this script is attached to plus it's shorter in writing just write camera dot field of view um, and we're going to have it uh, lerp between, oops, um, let's see, zero is going to be our current target camera angle. So that is going to be if uh, the ratio we give it is zero, um, but if the ratio we give it is one, it's going to be default camera angle and ratio zoom because that is the ratio that we're giving lerp all right and then the only thing we need to do is go into the gun script and let's add the variable uh what did i call it zoom angle and i'm going to just ballpark it around 30 and of course we can change this for every gun and i'm going to to camera object dot gets components and the component that we want to get is the mouse look script not mouse cursor look script and we want to get the variable from that 
current target camera oops angle and we're going to change that variable to be the same thing as zoom angle so very simple it's just going to run this line of code we're really we only need this code to happen once and it's really redundant to run it every single frame and it's actually a little bit of a waste of a CPU power waste of the CPU's power um, but really it doesn't matter that much for now like later on if we want to make our game run faster and have more frames per second we would want to change this code definitely because this is a very slow redundant line of code but right now it's not really gonna slow down our game that much so we can change that later so I think all that code is in place. Let's go over to Unity and test it out. So just position my mouse. So I'm looking around and it zooms. How cool is that? It's a very nice smooth zoom too. So let's say I wanted it to be a whole lot faster. So now I have all of these different cool variables inside of the gun script. Oh, one thing I want to change inside of, no, it was the mouse look script that I want to change. Okay, so this variable right here, we don't need to see in the inspector. Um, and same with these next two variables. We don't need to see that in the inspector. And we don't need to see that in the inspector. But we would like to change how fast it zooms in and out. So we're going to leave that in the inspector. So now when we go to our, where is our camera object, main camera, here it goes. Um, let's have it go like really fast, so like zero, let's make it really fast, like 10 times faster than what we had before. See how that looks. That's a little too fast for my taste, it's a little bit too jumpy. So I'm going to change that to like zero, one, I'm just going to keep experimenting until I think it looks good. I think that looks pretty good. It, it, it's smooth, but it doesn't slow down the action. It's like, bam, I'm zoomed in. But I can see that there's a smooth motion between zooming in and out. So that is the advantage of the way we have our script set up, is that we have all of these different variables so that we can just balance out our game and get like everything the way we want it. So let's, let's say that this was a sniper rifle. Let's zoom way the hell in. Okay, now I can only see my uh, cursor, but or my uh, sight on my gun, so that isn't quite working out. That's way too zoomed in, but it's pretty cool that it zooms in that far. It makes you feel like you have a sniper rifle. Um, so yeah, this has been FPS 1.11. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, um, request videos if you have any videos that you want me to make or any requests or questions. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, have a good day uh, and uh, keep making games. See you guys later.